Hi, it's me, Jamson, and today I'll be showing you some Excel formulas, tips and tricks that will be very useful to your Excel journey. And I hope you will like it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Quick Analysis Tool in quick analysis tool is where you can easily or quickly analyze your data just by highlighting this one in your excel sheet and you will have this icon just click on this you will get the totals see the sum or you can add formattings colors data bars colors icon set charts as well very easy and simple tables and spark lines there you have it this is the quick analysis tool current date and time to add current date and time just type equals now open and close parentheses and the current date and time will reflect in your excel sheet okay that's how to use current date and time filter filter if you want to select any cells in your in the column just go to data and click this filter there you have it you can just select any cells in your column like to go to d then it will filter only the selected cell that's how you use filter drop down list for drop down list um, basically if you want to have a specific selection in your column in your sheet that's supposed to say that meron po akong 1, 2, and 3, and 4 and I want this selection only in this um, in this area let's say I'll just highlight this one and I'll go to data data validation and allow any value choose list and source is this one okay then hit ok once you hit ok then you will have only the options of this one, two, three, four. Suppose you will, let's say four, okay? If you will put any number apart from the selections, let's add five, then it will give you an error. That's how you use drop down list. Count or count A. In count or count A, it will just count po the numbers even even po na highlighted these letters it will just count the numbers so let's see only 24 it didn't include the letters pero sa count a whatever na merong value sa actual sheet it will be counted so 32 that's how you use count or count a this is count this is count a okay transpose transpose um if you want to copy and paste it in the like vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical you can do transpose by just let's say this one i'll copy this one copy okay paste special here i want to paste it here in a horizontal position there you go and if you want to copy this one to vertical position just click again transpose simple as that po mga kabayan remove duplicates remove duplicates um as you can see in this table that b and e is duplicate see b and e parehas po sila so we will be removing that just highlight the table go to data and click this remove duplicates okay then i want to choose all of the columns and paste okay there you go it will be removing all the duplicates in your table, your highlighted table. Goal seek. In goal seek, um, 
I have here example table. As you can see, the total cost is based on the quantity multiplied by the unit cost. Okay, so our target, we have a target of 1,000 dirhams. We have to reach to 1,000 dirhams. So, in the item number 5, we can do it manually like we can put any number just to reach 1,000. Let's 10, okay, 15, or 18. But if we will use gold stick, it will be easier and faster to get the right quantity. Just click on the total cost, this one. Okay, and go to data, what if analysis, click gold seek. Okay, set to what is your target, our target is 1000. And by changing cell, click this one. Now it will give you the right quantity to reach your target. That's how gold seek can help with your computation. Count if. Okay, for count if, just put count if. Range, range is this one. And comma, let's say how many 15 in the table. And close parenthesis, one. If, because you have only, we have only 115 value in the table. So, if we will change this to 15, it will update. That's to how to use your count if V look up V look up if you look if you want to look up some data from a like even from different sheet or from the same sheet you just have to go to V look up formulas look and ref look up and reference V look up look look up values this one look table array the source this one as you can see, you have two columns, okay? So columns, two, range lookup is zero. Just drag it down, and there you have it. A, B, C, D, E, okay? Flash and autofill, okay? Flash and autofill, okay? Yung in the end, makikita nyo po to. just drag it down and click this icon and click fill series in the sequence mag appear na po siya you can do also the dates let's say today is august 22 okay and just drag it down so it will be arranged sequence you can also um if you don't want you can just make the copy cells only Set. drag it down copy cells that is copy cells if you feel series okay that's how you do it paste special values to paste special values if you can see in this table this is formulated again with by uh, quantity multiplied by unit cost if you will just copy and paste it from different table or from even from same sheet okay it will not reflect the values because it is formulated so what you have to do, you have to use copy paste values. So just let's highlight this one and copy, paste it here, paste special and values. There you have it. Images in charts. In images in charts, as you can see, I have a chart and a table here. And if you want to change this into a picture, just double click. And this option will will uh, appear. Click this one, and picture or texture fill, and file. There you have it. Change to a banana because I already did it earlier. If I want to change it to apple, that's it. It's very easy and simple. If function for if function, put if. This one, if it's equals to happy, and then if it's true, let's say it should reflect here as joy, but if it's false, sad, close, joy. How about in scared, sad, sad, happy, joy, joy. That's how you use if function. Insert screenshot. 
For insert screenshot, you just need to go to insert and click this icon. As you can see, I have here this open applications and it will give a, a, a photo a screenshot and it will be pasted here. See? That's how you use insert screenshot. Absolute cell reference. Absolute cell reference. Uh, I have here an example table. This total is calculated based on the quantity multiplied by unit cost. And this total with this stuff, this is calculated by the total minus with the 5%. This one. As you can see here. Okay. Then uh, I will put the 5%. I'm gonna go equals minus total. Okay. Times 5%. So, 5% of 200.25 is 10.01 minus uh, it will be 190.24. So, I have to copy and paste it down for item number 2 to 5. See? But the thing is, it gives me error. Because if you will try to check the formula. It went to G3 and this one is G4. So, to keep this G2 permanent, I have to make a dollar sign before G2. So, I'll show you guys. Put dollar sign. So, it will keep the G2 till item number 2 to 5. Copy and paste. There you have it. It will give me now the correct 5% discount. It locked the G2 that's it for absolute cell reference find formulas so I have here an example table to get the formulas to know where which cell it is it just highlight this table and just go to home find and select click this go to special and click this formulas and it okay then it will highlight the cells contains with formulas okay yes highlighted it text to columns text to columns and where you want to um, split a single column into a multiple columns so I have here an example from my word if I want to copy and paste this into the Excel from a word then it will show like this it kept only in um, one single column so I have to split this one I just need to highlight it go to data text to columns choose delimited next choose by semicolon uh, space comma there you have it semicolon comma next this is your data preview and click finish that's it that's how you use text to columns conditional formatting conditional formatting uh, makes it easily spot trends and patterns um, in your data using bars colors and icons to visually highlight important values okay if you want to add bars just go to home conditional formatting click this data bars if you can see it, it added color to, to the values, color scale as well, icon set. Even you can also highlight the duplicates in conditional formatting, duplicate values. Highlights you can also equals to 2000. How many are showing 2000? Only one. It will highlight as well. You can choose the color. That's it. How to remove the um, conditional formatting? Just click clear rules from selected cells. That's it. That's how you use conditional formatting. Power pivot or pivot table is to easily arrange and summarize your complex data into your pivot table. Just go to, if you can see, I have some uh, person names with a random of amount. There are also duplicates in this. So, just go to insert, click this pivot table, 
select a table or range table range just highlight this one select this one and click ok then this option will come put the amount here we will arrange it by area first name last name there you have it but to look this better and like um better and nicer then you have to change the design just highlight your pivot table go to design click this report layout click this show in tabular form okay and after that repeat all items click this repeat all items it's already duplicated as well remove the grand totals do not show subtotals there you go it is better if you want to arrange this by um, this is uh, alphabetically order arranged by um, area and you want to uh, by last name then change the last put the last name on the top last name move up move up there you have it okay that's it Borromeo mix that's how you arrange your table to easily arrange and summarize your complex data into a pivot table freeze panes uh, freeze panes is freezing a portion of the sheet to keep it visible while you scroll through the rest of the sheet i have a large set of data here in the, and if i scroll it to the right you can see i'm in, i am losing the uh, left columns the first name last name and area and I will, in a, and if I scroll it to the bottom I will use the header so you have to use freeze panes just go to view click the freeze panes then it will be locked you can adjust as well if you want to change the if you want to keep this um, from row to 1 to 8 then you have to keep the this one here freeze paints uh, there you have it now it's locked that's how you use freeze paints and there you go and i hope those formulas those, those tips those uh, tricks will help you to improve your excel um, journey and once again thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video.